So World's Strongest Man have just announced the 29th athlete that will be taking part in the 2022 World's Strongest Man competition. Now, why are you getting so excited, Loz, about the 29 athletes? Because they're supposed to be 30. Well, World's Strongest Man are still going to be looking at a few competitions to come up this year, mainly Europe's Strongest Man. Mm. There are other shows as well, but with one spot left to go and 29 athletes having confirmed their invitation, we thought we'd take a look at the athletes that are entered now and maybe a little speculation on who we think the 30th athlete could be. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Let's take a look at this list. Right, athlete number one, I feel like we should have party poppers going off for. Right, let's cue the music. It's Rauno. Where's Rauno? <laughs> Where's Rauno? <laughs> Rauno Heinler. 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 Rauno Heinler is going to World's Strongest Man. Can you believe that, people? I we, can believe it. I believed and it has happened. <laughs> I think Auntie Liz has single-handedly got Rauno into World's Strongest Man. No, let's not forget, <laughs> Rauno placed fourth at last year's Europe's Strongest Man. So we know he's a very deserving athlete, a little bit injury prone, but we're trying to keep him safe and fit <laughs> going into World's Strongest Man this Rauno, year. Rauno, wrap yourself in cotton wool. <laughs> We want to see you at your best competing at World's Strongest Man this year. So pleased to see Rauno get an invite. Athlete number two, very excited to see this man getting his first call up at World's Strongest Man, Pavlo Kordiaka. We saw him at OSG last year. Yes. He's an incredibly good, well-rounded athlete. I think he'll be a great addition to the World's Strongest Man team. I know it doesn't matter when it comes to competing, but an absolute sweetheart as well. You do love the sweetheart. It does matter, actually. No, it does matter. <laughs> I take it back. It matters. Another athlete I know you think is a sweetheart. He's just had a little baby. Aww. Gabriel Pena. He is a, another very, very nice human being, but an incredible lifter. Huge deadlift. Coming back to World's Strongest Man this year. Excellent voice, too. Excellent hair, too. <laughs> <laughs> Some hair. That's something in this sport, isn't it? <laughs> So our next athlete is the incredible Rob Kearney, an amazing performance at the Arnolds this year. He is back at World's Strongest Man for the first time since 2019, believe it or not. He's been through a lot in the last year. Yes. He's overcome tricep surgery, testicular cancer. He had a fantastic performance at the Arnolds, particularly the day one, and he's competing in the 2022 World's Strongest Man. Uh, now this next one, I know you have lots of cause for celebration. Yes, indeed. I am extremely pleased to see Kim Jurak Lorenzen at World's Strongest Man this year. I've been training Kim for almost two and a half years now. He is the first man ever from Greenland to compete at the World's Strongest Man. So proud of him. He's training hard and I can't wait to see how he does. Next up then, another first timer, we have Kelvin De Reuter. Now for those of you that follow the Strongman Champions League, this will not be a new name to you as he has won several of them. And he is an absolute giant, six foot eight, six foot nine. He's a big man, nine. exceptionally good at truck pulling type events. Great to see him. And it's just great seeing so many new faces, I've got to say. And more countries represented. Absolutely. Next up, we have Maxime Boudreau, the man that came third at the 2021 World's Strongest Man. He is back. Can he improve on that podium position? He's an exceptional athlete and he'll be hungry to do better than last time. And speaking of exceptional athletes, we have the return of four-time World's Strongest Man, Mr. Brian Shaw, still hungry for that fifth title. And it could happen, it could. He came second last year, but with the return of a couple of other athletes that we're gonna go through in a minute, it's probably going to be harder than ever. I think one thing we should point out with Brian, I think he's made the most finals in a row. He has. At World's Strongest Man. Not just he a four-time winner, no. but consistently making the final, I think, since 2009. Nine. Yes. He has not missed out on a final since then. Just one of the absolute best of the last 12, 15 years. And talking of a World's Strongest Man regular, I mean, Brian Shaw has done a lot, but nobody has competed at the World's Strongest Man as many times as the one and only Mr. Mark Felix. Coming back for his 17th World's Strongest Man contest. At the grand age of, I think he will be 84. 50. Someone I'm really happy to see at World's Strongest Man this year, who qualified through this year's Britain's Strongest Man, Paro Dwyer, representing Ireland. He came second at this year's Britain's Strongest Man, just behind the current World's Strongest Man, Tom Stoltman. This isn't his first appearance, but I know he will be dying to make his first World's Strongest Man final. 
He's in the best shape we've seen him, and I'm really looking forward to seeing Parr get out there. Now, another athlete that we saw do exceptionally well at Britain's Strongest Man, and that's where he's got his invite from, is Shane Flowers, the youngster from the UK. Very, very impressive this year. He's had an incredible improvement over the last year, mm. and he is thoroughly deserving of this shot at World's Strongest Man. Another first-timer to this year's roster is Jean-Steven Korobov, also known as Coco. Now, he is the current Australia's strongest man. He won it when it was last held in 2019. But how cool is it to finally have an Australian athlete back at World's Strongest Man? Yeah, it's been too long. The last few years, we haven't been able to see any Australian athletes. Great to see this man get an invite to Worlds. And again, more representation from all over the world. Next up, we've got the Europe's strongest man, Luke Stoltman. He had a great performance in the final of Worlds last year. Just faltered right at the end. He was doing so well, had a real chance of getting on the podium. But Luke Stoltman is back and obviously is defending Europe's strongest man. He's going to that title beforehand. Mm. He may be a two times Europe's strongest man before we get to Worlds. And of course, it's rare we have one without the other, and it should be no surprise that Tom Stoltman is returning to 2022 World's Strongest Man to retain his title. Now, he is hell-bent on retaining this title. I don't think I don't have the vocabulary to describe how much this means to Tom. Oh, Tom wants to go down as one of the greats, and to do that, you need to be a multiple champion. Can he do it? It's going to be tougher this year. I think the lineup is just ridiculous. I mean, looking at the names we've still got ahead of us to say, yeah. and some of the ones we've said already, but Tom proved last year how good he was. The format of World's Strongest Man suits him very well. Yeah. I'm sure Tom is going to bring his best for Worlds. Another finalist from last year, Mr. Bobby Thompson, the American nightmare. He's not a nightmare. He's, he's a, a teddy bear. pleasure to be around, but he's a fierce competitor. Someone that absolutely gives 100% every single time. His body will be falling apart and he will keep fighting. And that's what we love when it comes to watching Bobby Thompson. We don't love his body falling apart. We should point that out. We love his beard. Now, another one of my absolute favourites from Latvia, Ivar Schmuckstelis is returning to World's Strongest Man. He didn't quite make the final last year. He did in 2020, upsetting probably the group of death that year. I would love to see Ivers make the final this year. Another British athlete, we've got the return of Adam Bishop. He snuck into the final the last few years. I think, <laughs> to be fair to him, he has. Yeah. But we know how amazing Adam is. And, you know, if there's a deadlift in that final, he's going to want to go in there and absolutely smash it. And it should be noted that Adam is willingly sitting out Europe's strongest man this year in order to ensure he is as prepared as possible for Worlds. It's interesting watching a lot of athletes being a lot more selective this year. There's, there's athletes that burnt out a bit last year. Uncle Loss has been saying it, hasn't he? I do say these things, and sometimes people listen. Adam's one of those guys that when he's well prepared, is very dangerous. Now, speaking of dangerous men, we have the return of America's Evan Singleton. This will be his third World's Strongest Man. He has had horrible luck at World's Strongest Man. In his first appearance, he was injured. I think it was his bicep. And last year, he was horribly, horribly sick throughout. He is desperate for a good showing at World's Strongest Man. He's had great success in the one-day shows, but that hasn't translated yet to the biggest competition in the sport. And a lot of people are bigging him up this year, so he's gonna want to perform you know talking to him he wants to dominate every show that he does so it's always exciting to see Evan perform. From Iceland we got Ethor Ingelsson Melstead who made the final for the first time last year finishing 10th in the final he'll want to improve on that performance and make the final again. Next, we have the return of the Georgian Bull, Konstantin Janasha, probably one of the most consistent athletes we've had at World's Strongest Man. He's competed there five times and made the final all five times, with his best result being fourth place. It's, it's impressive to make the final every single time you've been. I mean, we don't always talk about Janasha, but he is one hell of an athlete. Can he do six in a row? So Trey Mitchell is our next athlete. He was fourth at last year's World's Strongest Man. He also won the Shaw Classic in mm. 2021. A young athlete that's improving all the time. Can he do better than fourth place? So next we have the first Finnish athlete that we've seen at Worlds in the last few years. Mika Toro, he's a regular on the Strongman Champions League scene, regularly getting podium he's positions been podium there as a number well. Of times, yeah. So it'd be very interesting to see how he does with this step up in competition. Next up, we have a man that a lot of people have wanted to see in various big shows, but it's great to see him get this invite to World's Strongest Man. Payman Meherapur from Iran, the beastly deadlifter. 
He's put some huge numbers up. Uh, I think last year he actually did the biggest deadlift in competition out of any athlete. He's looking bigger than we've ever seen him before. It's going to be interesting to see if that extra size is going to help him at World's Strongest Man. One of the really fun things when Payman competes are his fans. <laughs> Payman does have some insane fans, no, I remember. No, intense fans. <laughs> Payman, <laughs> Payman does have some intense fans. I, I remember clearly... I'm half Iranian. I don't think they realised that. When, when, they, when they came for yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> when we were in the same group and they came for me. But it's great that he has so much support. And this is what we need. Different athletes from all over the world bringing new fans into the World's Strongest Man. Next up, we have another Canadian athlete competing at the World's Strongest Man for the first time, Gabriel Rayom. You may recognise his name from the 2021 Shaw Classic. And he was also last year's winner of Canada's Strongest Man. Now, I'm super excited to see this man back at the World's strongest man we have the return he hasn't been a world strongest man since 2019 the return of 2019 champion he's just won the arnold's he won the rogue invitational can he come back and win world strongest man 2020 the one and only martins lissis it's really good to see him coming back to world strongest man i think this year is going to be really exciting with some of the big names that are returning and then the newer guys that have sort of, you know, gone on and, and been dominating shows over the last few years. It's going to be one hell of a show. We're pleasantly surprised to see the return of the next athlete, Gav Bilton, who's back after suffering a few injuries. He is the current UK Strongest Man and Wales Strongest Man, and he will be looking to make his first Wales Strongest Man final. Then we have the 2020 Wales Strongest Man winner, the incredible Alexei Novikov. Can he bounce back from that? disappointing performance in 2021 where he didn't make the final mm. i think he's going to come in hungry and think we're going to have former champion alexi martins brian and current champion tom all in one competition will all four of them make the final we'll see right it's party time again because <laughs> the next athlete is mateusz kiliaszkowski who we also have not seen at this competition since 2019 and he has been sorely missed he has come second at World's Strongest Man twice, I believe, off the top of my head. Yes, he was second twice. And he is another athlete who has made the final each time he's competed at World's Strongest Man, which is four times. He has suffered multiple injuries. It's been really hard for him to come back, but we are dying to see a healthy and fit Mateusz at this competition. There's still going to be question marks because he pulled out of the Arnold's. It wasn't a serious injury that pulled no. him out. So we are hopeful that he's fully recovered and competing at the world's strongest man. And the 29th athlete on the list so far is the man that knocked out Alexei Novikov from the 2021 competition, mm. Kevin Ferris. Kevin, one of the smallest athletes in the competition, an incredible athlete. His grip is just ridiculous. I competed against him on the Rogue Dinny Stone Challenge just last week and he absolutely blew everyone out of the water. He doesn't look like the biggest, strongest guy in the world, but he proves that is irrelevant. He mm. is incredibly good, getting better all the time, and we're both very, very pleased to see him get an invite to this year's show. 29 athletes have been announced. There is still a spot for one more athlete, and we will have reserves, and potentially people fall out between now and World's Strongest Man. But looking at this list, for the first time in a long time, it feels like a proper World's Strongest Man competition. Oh, is that a fair thing to say? I think one I think it, big distinction, they've gone back up to 30 athletes, whereas we have had just 25, which kind of sucked because five guys in the heats and there's lots of head to head. So you've always got one guy going off on his own. One guy gets injured. Suddenly you've only got four guys, three, one goes through, two in the stone off. And then there's just one Larry on his own. Well, we've got 15 different nations represented, which is a lot more than we've had. And as long as I can remember, to be quite honest. Well, the last couple of years, we've had like eight Americans and eight British athletes out of a pool of 25. So. Yeah, so I think it's really cool to see lots of new faces, lots of representation from all different areas. So now's the really fun bit. Time to speculate and guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could go through a whole host of athletes, but we're going to slim it down to a few that seems a bit more logical. Some yeah. of the names that seem to be kind of bouncing around mm. and athletes that have 
up and coming comps. So the, the two obvious ones for me are two guys that compete at Europe's strongest man, which is Marius Lalas and Yevgeny Markov. Yeah. Both those guys are down to do Europe's strongest man. So Marius did very well at Europe's last year. He did. Good so. performance there. Could get himself in. Uh, Yevgeny Markov had a bit of an injury at the Arnolds, didn't mm. perform as well as maybe he is capable of. Can he get himself in shape for that? Um, it's going to be interesting to see, but they're both big names that could potentially be looked at. Who else do you think? Another name that excites me, <laughs> Mitch Hooper. No, don't worry, not too much. <laughs> I'm not that excited. Mitch Hooper. <laughs> so he's the guy with the outrageously big deadlift who has been invited. <laughs> I'm glad to you the... said deadlift then, is it? <laughs> <laughs> He's been invited to the Deadlift World Championships. Yeah, that's really cool to see. Mitch has put some big, big numbers up. Could he possibly be invited to... Yeah, he's World done World some World. impressive stuff. He's um, He won the Static Monsters mm -hmm. contest. He's put some huge deadlifts up. Uh, be interesting to see if he gets an invite. Yes. Uh, we know that a deadlift probably isn't going to get you there. You have to be a very complete athlete for World's Strongest Man. But... Another guy that... He was a bit of a wild card last year, but he went on and did well in the Champions League in a few shows last year. Travis Ortmeier, mm. an old great. I think I can get away with saying old great because we're sort of the same era. Um, Travis, but, you have to think of, about World's Strongest Man as well and the overall production. Travis has a story. He does have a story. I know that shouldn't, you know... It, it shouldn't, it but it does. Too much, but it does, it does. Like, stories matter in World's Strongest Man, so there is a possibility of Travis slipping yeah. through. But guys, as always, let us know who you think should be invited and, and be looked at. you want to be invited, more importantly. Who do you want to be invited? I don't know. I'm I, very happy with the list. I, I'm... Pleasantly pleased and surprised and very, think, very happy I, with that I, list. I think World's Strongest Man have done absolutely brilliant job because Liz and I sat down about a month ago and just thought about the different athletes and it is so hard. To come with a top 30, yeah. Do you know what's another thing that's interesting? No Swedish representation on that list yet. Could that that's be a clue about who's coming next? Yeah. Because we do usually have a Swede. We do indeed. There's, like I said, I've said many times, there's so many great athletes and obviously I've spoken openly that maybe there should be some proper qualifying system. At the moment we have the don't, Giants Live. Don't tell Colin that. No, no, no. Like Colin, Colin knows that Giants Live is the only official qualifying yeah. route, but that doesn't give you 30 spots. No, we need more, more options and more transparency. Uh, absolutely. But... That aside, I'm very pleasantly surprised at this year's World's Strongest Man lineup. We approve. It's got me excited. I hope it's got you guys excited for Worlds. We still have a few big comps to come before that, but World's Strongest Man really is the one with the buzz. Right, guys, make sure you let us know who you want to see as the 30th athlete invited to World's Strongest Man. And as always, comment below with your favourites, who you think is going to win. Are you supporting Tom Stoltman? Do you guys think Lissis will win? Can Kiliuskovsky win that first title? There's so many great athletes. Who's your favourite? Let us know and we'll see you guys next time.